Hello and welcome to the Textbook Engineering Problem Channel. We're working on problem 2.18 from Elementary Principles of Chemical Processes, 3rd edition. Let's get started. I'll read the problem statement here. Two thermocouples temperature measurement devices are tested by inserting their probes in boiling water, recording the readings, removing and drying the probes, and then doing it again. The results of five measurements are as follows. They include a table. For each set of temperature readings, calculate the sample mean, the range, and the sample standard deviation. Which thermocouple readings exhibit the higher degree of scatter? Which thermocouple is more accurate? Okay. We're going to be doing this problem in Excel. So we'll pull up our Excel sheet. And let's start writing down what we know from the problem. So we've got our temperature. We know that thermocouple, thermocouple A and thermocouple B have different set of measurements on them. Um, now we need to start calculating the statistics. For each set of temperature reading, calculate sample mean, range, and sample standard deviation. Okay, so sample mean, range, and standard deviation. Um, the mean is the average. Excel has a built-in function for that. Then we have the range, which equals the maximum value um, the difference between the maximum value and the minimum value. Okay. And then the standard deviation and Excel has a function for that as well. You can calculate these by hand, but um, we generally don't do that because there's no advantage of calculating it by hand as opposed to calculating it on a machine. Okay, so that answers part A. Part B, which thermocouple readings exhibit the higher degree of scatter? Okay, well, we can just look at the statistics we just calculated. The standard deviation gives us a measurement of the scatter in a sample. So the higher the standard deviation, the higher the scatter. You can see that the scatter in sample in the thermocouple B is about 10 times that of thermocouple A. So thermocouple B has much higher scatter. Which thermocouple is more accurate? The accuracy is the difference between the actual temperature and the temperature that the thermocouple is reading. Um, so the actual temperature of boiling water is 100 degrees Celsius. Now we look at thermocouple A, we're about 30 degrees off from that. Thermocouple B is about the same only about 0.18 difference between the actual temperature of the boiling water and the, the measurement that thermocouple B gives us. So thermocouple B is also more accurate. It has higher scatter and it is more accurate. Um, scatter is generally not good when you're taking scientific measurements. So um, if, there would, if there was a way to either reduce the scatter in thermocouple B while maintaining its accuracy or increasing the accuracy of thermocouple A and maintaining the low degree of scatter. That would be the ideal case. In either case, that is it for problem 2.18. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you noticed any errors I made, let me know and I will make a correction in the video description. Thanks.